everyone! During this video, we're going to look at the resource World Book Kids. It's right up here. And World Book Kids is geared towards about first through third grade. So we'll click on that. All right, so just on this main page, a few features I want to point out. First is that every time you click onto this page, it gives you a different background prompt. So right now there's an eagle, um, and it changes every time you go back to the home page or you click on it from EPC portal or whatever. Um, and it's just giving you a topic that you might find interesting. So right here it shows you the topic. It says read about and then eagles. And here's the picture about eagles. Um, you can also scroll through different topics. So now it's snow, Spider-Man. I haven't seen that one before, so that's pretty cool. And that would definitely appeal to kids. And then Wales, which of course is in the UK. Um, and something interesting about that is maybe if kids don't know um, like first through third grade, they might not know where whales is and they might think it's saying whales and then there being water and have to do with the animal whales. That would be a good lesson for them. Um, other things on this main home page, there is a search bar here. So if the student is doing research or looking for a topic of interest, they can just type a keyword in here or they can click explore and we'll look at that in just a second. Um, also on the main page here at the bottom, it has just quick links to various activities um, and resources for information that the students can look at. So we'll go to these here at the bottom in just a minute, but first we're gonna look at Explore. So we'll click on Explore. Once you click Explore, it takes you to various categories, and then if you can click on these categories. Um, so let's try the arts. So I'll click on the arts. And then it becomes even more specific. So within the arts, there's dance, drawing, photography, poets, etc. So then we can click on one of these. So I'll click on dance. And then it gets even more specific and it tells you um, different types of dance like ballet. It tells you dancers like Alvin Ailey. Um, and I actually am going to click on Alvin Ailey because I have a friend that is a dancer for the Alvin Ailey Dance Company. So I'm interested in that topic. So I'll click on Alvin Ailey. And then it redirects me to an article about Alvin Ailey. Here at the bottom, it shows what the citation for this article would be in MLA, APA, and Harvard um, format. It's saying if I want to learn more about this topic, I can go to World Book Student, or I can view this article in a Spanish encyclopedia. That's this orange button right here. Here's a photo up here at the top. Um, the article is right here. That's the tab we're on. We can go to the tab for pictures and videos. It looks like they just have the one picture. And I can click on more information. Um, and that brings me to something that might have like curriculum correlations. Maybe if you're looking at this, if the parent is looking at this. Um, I don't know that the student is necessarily going to know what curriculum correlations are, but you as a educator would be able to use this feature. I have seen on other um, resources in this database though, when you click on an article under more information, it'll have quick links to things related to the topic. Like for example, in animals, there was one for an aardvark and then under the more information, there was a quick link for more information about anteaters. So let's go back to article. Um, other features of this section up here in tools, you can download this article, you can email it to yourself, print it, you can look at the citations, which I believe are down at the bottom. Um, you can also translate this text. So um, if you have students that maybe want to learn a different language or they already speak a different language, you can click on that. So let's look at translate this text. And then um, we all know that there's the, the Spanish encyclopedia and Spanish is probably one that's going to often be used in translating this. However, I want to look at something different. So let's look at Arabic. Just because it's interesting to look at and that might be something cool that the students want to see. So click on Arabic, then you click go. It'll take you to a new tab and then it gives you the translation. Again, you can read about World Book Student. That's in English and then there's Spanish. Citations are even in Arabic. So I just think that that's really cool. So we'll close out of that and go back to our main page here. You can listen to the text read aloud, maybe if you have a seeing impaired student. So we can click on that. 
And then it's telling you um, over here, you can, it'll have it read to you more slow or um, faster. And then to listen to it, you actually click on the section. And before I click on it, I do want to preface it that the readers they got for World Book Kids are not as great as the readers they got for Early World of Learning. The World Book Kids readers sound more robotic. So I'll click on it and you can listen to it being read. Alvin Ailey Ailey, 1931 to 1989, was an American choreographer, K-A-W. And when you want it to stop reading, you just click on stop. So that's a good summary of when you go into articles on this website. To get back to the home page, you go up here to the left-hand corner and you can click on World Book Kids. If you're wanting, if something comes to mind and you want to search without having to go back to the home page, you can go up to the search bar here. But let's go to the home page, click on World Book Kids. As you can see, the topic it prompts has changed like it does every time, and now it's prompting architecture. Um, so now to look down here at the bottom panel of different resources the students can access, I'm just going to go over a couple of these since there's so many. But you can see that there's pictures and videos, which also pop up in the articles. Um, there's various activities. Um, you can look at maps. You can look at important people, like if they're doing a biography project. You can compare places. There's science project ideas. There's a fun dictionary. Um, so let's take a look at animals, since there's always, um, I don't want to say always, but usually there are animal projects that students do within first to third grade. And kids are always just interested in animals anyways. So when you go to the animals quick link, it shows you different species around the side in like little boxes. But then the feature I'm going to go over is compare all animals because um, it's just a super fun tool. So click on compare all animals. Now it shows you different animals. It's alphabetized. You can scroll through and click on different pages. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and compare two animals. So I'll click on alligator. When you click on one, it automatically goes to the left. And then if you want to compare the alligator to a different animal, you can um, click compare animals. And now you have the option of clicking on another animal. If you don't click on compare animals, if you click on a second animal, it'll just replace the first animal that you did. So now we have two animals here and you can look at, um, information on the one animal, like stats about that animal by going on the exhibit. And this will give you just quick facts about the animal. You can also look at an article about the animal, which it's opening up in a new tab right now. Same kind of format of what we were looking at before, but this one actually has more photos than just one. It has videos. Again, the citations are at the bottom. So I'm gonna go back to that page I was on though. And I want to compare the animals. So I'm going to hit compare now at the bottom right hand corner. And now it's showing you um, a compare and contrast of an anaconda and an alligator with all these different information with um, the topics of information here in the center. And you can print this page or if you want to compare two different animals, you can go back to make a new selection and it'll start over. So let's go back to the home page again. So I can show you a different feature of this database. Now back on the home page, let's look at games super briefly. So like early world of learning, there's multiple choice, matching, sorting. Um, this, it gets more advanced. There's a crossword. Um, puzzles are pretty typical to have. There's game type, so you can click on that. And then there's also subjects you can look at. So there's, um, animals, language arts, math, science, social studies. So it's just different ways to categorize it. And once you click on either subject or game type, so right now it's giving you purple color coded because it's showing you puzzles. But if you were to click on matching games, it shows you in green because that goes with matching. Um, if you go over to subject, right now it's showing you animal games. If you click on pink for math, it'll show you math games. They, the color, it's all color coordinated. So click on World Book Kids to go back home. And now for our final thing, let's just take a quick look at important people. I like this feature because you can either search in the search bar person you're looking for, or you can use these different suggested, um, 
I don't know how to, it kind of, it's like filters. These are all just like filters to make your search more specific. Maybe if you don't already have a person in mind that you're looking for. So you can search it here or um, I'm just going to go from left to right. So male or female. Okay, I want to look for a female. So I'm going to click female. It automatically redirects me to all of the different female people articles it has in the system. And you can see that there's 596. So, oh, okay, now I have a bunch of women. So, but what do I want to focus on for the woman? Let's look at jobs. So maybe I want to look at women who were architects. So I'll click on that. Oh, see, it did it, and now there's only one female architect they have in the whole system. Well, that's not going to be good for these other two I want to do, so let's choose something more broad. So I'm going to hit reset for that. So it takes me back to just women, and I'm going to hit actors and directors because that sounds pretty broad. So I'll hit that. Great, there's 59 results. So I want to look at female actors, but I want them from a specific country. So let's hit France. So there's one item. They have Josephine Baker, and then I'll choose a time period. It does tell me when she was alive, but say I wanted to know a French actress from, oh, look, it only gives me the 1900s because that's when she's alive, and it'll give you different time periods right here. So I like that because it just gets it. These are all different tools to help you get increasingly more specific in the database. And then I'm just going to hit to go back home. And that's what I have for World Book Kids. And remember, World Book Kids is geared towards about first through third grade.